Hey, this video is about a small example which is kind of artificial but it's cute because it illustrates, it involves two nice concepts, dependent types and continuations. So let's start. What I'd like to write is a function, sum, that can be used as follows. So if I say sum and then 3, I can follow that by 3 numbers, 1, 2, 3, and get as a result the sum of those numbers. Notice that the first argument would be a little bit special because it says how many other arguments follow. Now this cannot be done in OCaml. Why? Well, think of the type of this thing. The type of sum 3 should be in uh, a function that takes 3 integers. 1, 2, 3 and returns an integer. But uh, the type of say sum2 should be shorter. And there's no way in OCaml to express such types that depend on values. Because you would ideally want to say something like uh, now n is an int, maybe, and then it takes a number of integers equal to n, so we erase this to the power n, and then it returns an integer. But there's no way to say something like that. So it should not be possible to implement this function. But maybe we can do something a little bit worse to have a bunch of functions whose name contain uh, contains how many arguments uh, they are going to be and uh, of course when we implement say uh, sum 4 we take 4 arguments and we want to compute it probably by referring back to the previous function since we already have a function that computes the sum of three elements it seems kind of natural to try to use it so the other problem would be okay let's see how can we express this transformation from sum 3 to sum 4. Can we write a function that does this? And this is possible to do using two tricks. One is to make the function a bit more general and the other is to use continuation. You may want to stop the video a little bit and try to do it for yourself, for example, to see what kind of problems appear. So the way I we, com we can compute this next sum function from the previous sum function and from one extra element, we'd like it to be something like x plus sum, but what do we write here? If we have to list the arguments, then we have to know how many to list, but we don't know how many to list. So to solve this problem, we change the types of these things, we introduce say a new family of sums which takes an extra which take an extra argument which is a continuation. So the semantics of this sum one with continuation is gonna be that it computes the sum and then it applies the continuation to the sum and returns what the continuation returns. So in sum 3c we'll compute the sum of these ones 
then it will run this function on it so filter and returns that result so now we need to make uh, uh, some function that takes a continuation and an extra value and returns the next sum function and we do that by simply changing the continuation of this next sum function we say that well if the recursive call computes the sum y we're gonna add x to that then run over it to the previous continuation and that's it let's see if this compiles okay now we can ask for the type and we see the type that the compiler in fact it says uh, they take a sum function which is something with some type but all we know about it is it has a continuation we take a continuation and an integer and we return something that processes one less integer okay so let's see how our definitions of these functions should look like using this helper so the sum zero that uses the continuation computes the sum of zero numbers which is zero and then applies the continuation to it which is this then the next ones we simply compute by applying this next sum function so we have sum 2, 3, 4 and each time we use the previous one 1, 2, 3 ok let's see if this compiles Well, I'm I'm gonna fix that. Yeah, it doesn't know that the continuation returns an integer, and we can fix that in a moment let sum zero and now the, the tied version are going to be computed using another help function this one takes a sum with a continuation sum mc let's say and what it does is that it applies this to a fixed continuation that uh, is just an identity function so at the very end we don't do anything <coughs> okay so again we have one two three four and they are completed from the corresponding versions with continuations and now we can have something like printf printf xmd sum for one two three four okay I should also make an executable run it we can see the types of these things there's one that we expected always one integer more this one takes a continuation from integer to integer for integers and return another returns another one okay one more thing that I want to notice here is that 
here basically what we do is a function composition there's two functions the old continuation and the other function that we do first is that we add x to the argument so we can define an operator for a function composition this is just an alternative way of writing the same thing and here we say well we just compose the continuation with a function that adds x so it's clear that we change the continuation by chaining something onto it so we keep constructing this function that adds things and at the very end when it gets to the, the last argument it will actually apply it on zero let's check that it still works yep it still works okay so that was all for today for this video